Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dan. This is Viking Designs. Now I've had a bunch of people ask me what is my favorite tool. Near to the top of most of my lists are going to be lasers. Now there are a few different types of lasers that we use in construction. You've got your rotary lasers, you've got your laser measures, and you have your cross line or 360 lasers. We use all three of these lasers, but today I wanted to talk to you guys about cross line lasers or 360 lasers. So why would you want to use a cross line laser or a 360 laser? Well, basically the idea is you want to take all the guesswork out of it. You want to build things that are plumb and you want to build things that are level. And owning one of these things makes it fairly easy to do that. You see, most levels that people carry on them are anywhere between 200 mil and around two meters. If you have something you need to plumb or level up that is, you know, three, four, five meters long, perhaps you have a three meter wall you'd like to plumb. You want to lay out five meters worth of flooring and get a perfectly straight line. This is where the laser comes in handy. Now, yes, you can use a straight edge, but once again, you are limited by the size of that straight edge. You can use a chalk line, been using chalk lines forever, but say you were laying an engineered floor, well once you put that glue down on the floor, your chalk line's gone, whereas with the laser, that line just floats on top of whatever is there. These things are especially handy when you were doing door jams, architraves, niches like the one I did in my bathroom. Flooring to get that straight line. If you're tiling a bathroom, you want to get that first row of tiles on perfectly. If you're installing kitchen cabinets, shelving, windows, framing a house. We even use them for decks and pergolas when the lighting conditions are working in our favor. Now I'm telling you, if you are just building a kit of tools, you want one of these. It gives you your vertical plumb line. It gives you your horizontal level line. It's super accurate, it's super easy to use. You just point it in the area you need it and you're good to go and it automatically levels and plumbs for you. Now my go-to laser is this Dewalt. Most tubers I know have this or something very similar, often made by Dewalt. It's just a very common brand that you see around here. So let's check this one out. Now in this hard carry case, you have a cross line laser. Now this laser has a 360 horizontal laser and it also has a plumb line. Now the plumb line is not 360, it only comes out the front, it does not come out the back, doesn't really go out the top either, but for the most part it's going to get you out of trouble. Then you've got your horizontal and you can also have them both on at the same time. Just ran out of battery, but that's the D well, that's the standard. I see it a lot. It's reliable, it can take a knock, but it is a fairly basic setup. This, on the other hand, is the Hupa SO4CGCR. Now, the first thing you'll notice with this Hupa laser is its carry case. Super sturdy plastic that could take a, a bit of a hit. Don't go too crazy on it but it's lined with some soft foam padding, has nice cutouts for everything, so everything has its own place. Easy to keep everything in order, and it's really, really well protected. Now, this is like the polar opposite of the Dewalt. The Dewalt is basic, zero accessories. This is, this has got a ton of accessories, and it's a lot more feature rich. Let's have a quick look. So right here is your main laser unit. Now this laser, unlike the Dewalt, this is a complete 360 laser. So you've got a laser on the top, you've got a laser on the bottom here, you've got one on the side, and then you've got another one at 90 degrees from that one. Now each one of these lasers does a full 360. So you've got your switch right here. And as you can see, it looks like we're in that, what's that? Catherine Zeta-Jones movie. Sean Connery, maybe. I've got to look it up. <laughs> 
Catherine Zeta Jones Lasers Entrapment That's the one Currently looks like we're in that entrapment scene Where Catherine Zeta Jones is like Anyway um, so, so you've got a laser right at the bottom, another laser about 110 mil up, one on the vertical axis and another on another vertical axis. Now it's telling me my table is out of level. It's got to be fairly close to level to, uh, to work. So you have the ability to toggle on your horizontal lines. Whether you want your top one on, your bottom one on, then you also got your vertical line switches toggle them off toggle them on now you have another button here which pulses the laser and i think if you're trying to see it and you're outdoors by having it pulse like that makes it a lot easier to see that line now both this and the d -Walt have the green light which is meant to give you better visibility in the day so let's take a look at what this laser comes with One of my favorite features of this is it comes with this pop-out rechargeable battery just here. You don't even really need a dock for this battery. You can literally just plug a USB-C cable, which I thought was pretty cool. I've never seen that before. This rechargeable battery is meant to get you well over three hours. You can slide the battery in the bottom there. Or if you're on site and you found you haven't charged this battery, you've also got the option to pop in this which is just a, an adapter so you can put in four double a batteries so if you are on site and you haven't charged your batteries then you're still good to go pop the double a's in and and you're sweet your final option is to plug your usb cable directly in to the laser so you're gonna get constant power i assume you could hook that up to a battery pack or to the mains all right so aside from powering this thing up your other accessories are a remote so if you have this thing up on a tripod or hanging off the ceiling because you're doing a suspended ceiling and you don't want to have to climb up and down a ladder you can just keep this little remote in your nail bag on off pretty handy your other accessory is this weird little platform but it's really cool <laughs> it's basically screws up and down so if you are trying to get some micro adjustments on exactly where you want your line you turn the laser on and you just twist this and this is going to give you like oh god here we go come on man it's close enough let's just turn that off this is going to give you you know millimeter precision if you were trying to get a line and you're going to lay a row of tiles all around the bottom of your bathroom this is going to give you that millimeter precision the fact that you also have that laser on the bottom means you're going to get really close to the ground which is really really cool so yeah that's that's an interesting little uh accessory And then you have this wall mount bracket. Let's just peel this out of here. So this is your main mounting bracket. It comes with magnets on the back end here. So obviously you can hang a nail on the wall. Your other option is to put this mounting plate on the wall somewhere. And from there you get some fairly macro adjustments. So slide it up, slide it down. Once again, giving you millimeter precision. Man, how out of level is my garage floor? There we go. Just pop some brad nails under there. So for instance, if we want this line to hit the top of this shelf, we have these really macro adjustments. So we can just turn this till it hits the top of our shelf here. And we know we are in business. So you've got this knob up here to the left and that basically turns the laser into 360 motion and this knob to the right will move it back and forth. Now this is a pretty cool mounting bracket. I've never seen anything with this sort of level of detail and precision. 
It's made out of plastic, but it seems like a really sturdy plastic. And you generally do tend to take care of your lasers. It's not the type of tool that you throw into a bucket. You generally are more careful with this gear, knowing that they are, you know, precision tools. Now, just to compare these two lasers, you've got the Dewalt, which kind of lacks in features, but, you know, stands the test of time. Everyone uses them. And then you've got the Hupa, which is you know it's a lot less known but it's got a ton more features a lot more bang for your buck in that kit now the dewalt comes in at 248 dollars the hupa comes in at 249 dollars and 99 cents so basically for the same amount of money you can pick up the hupa get a ton more features and get a lot more for your dollar now I've only had this thing for about a month, so it's really hard to say whether it's going to stand the test of time, is it going to stand up to the occasional knock, how is it going to last on a construction site. I've been using it quite a bit, so far no issues, so in the coming months I can do a more thorough review on the Hupa, tell you guys how it's holding up over the longer term, and give you a little more insight into using it daily. As you can tell, I'm a fan. And for just a little bit more than the cost of a two meter level, you got yourself a super precise tool. If you want to see more in the Hue part, keep an eye on the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.